Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you how to carry on Nocturne Jungle. Since all the dust has settled, I figured I'd make an updated guide. So basically, Jack Show and Ravenous Hydra aren't what they used to be, and they're not really worth taking on Nocturne anymore. Instead, you wanna rush down Stridebreaker, it's so funny. It's his highest win rate mythic across the board, and his most pick mythic on all of his highest win rate builds. And yet, Riot doesn't recommend it, because Riot wants you to play Nocturne like an assassin, which doesn't make sense, because he has so much built-in attack speed. Okay, you're gonna die. You better have snare, buddy, because if you don't, you're dead. Okay, of course he has it. He loses all of his health. I'm probably just going to start on my blue to uh, stop this guy from doing what he's going to do. Yeah, I'm going to have to solo start on my blue. It is what it is. It's a solo Nocturne type of start. I don't want Noct I don't want this Ivern to cheese my camps. Normally, you're going to start, start balling for best leash possible. But in this case... I'm not going to let Nocturne start on my blue buff. So anyways, for your best runes possible, Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Grasse, Eyeball, Ultimate with attack speed 80, and Armor. Anyways, Nocturne as an Assassin, very low win rates. You want to play him as a Shredder. Stridebreaker holds him still for you, gives you AD, attack speed, and a big old slow. Super valuable. That's exactly what you want. Get your W level 2, gives you constant attack speed just by leveling it up 30% super high. Nocturne can play against any comp as long as he has at least one AP champion on his team since Nocturne is a good frontliner, has good engage with his R. In the early game, he's a full clear jungler, pre-6. It's just full clear gank, full clear gank every time. So for example, we're not going to go top here. Even if Nasus is about to solo die, not much we can do about that. Nocturne's solo potential is very, very high. You can consider taking Ignite. You don't have to by any means, but against things like Warwick, Xin Zhao, Lee Sin, any solo matchup that you feel like you might lose, especially if you have less HP, Ignite is definitely worth it. In this case, I know I can solo Ivern whenever I want, so I'm not going to bother taking Ignite. I'd rather have the extra mobility from Flash to kill the enemy AD carry. So yeah, the standard Nocturne build right now is to rush Stridebreaker into Bork. After Bork, you're going to go for Death Dance or Maw. Death Dance if they're AD heavy, Maw if they're AP heavy against their team. They're pretty AD heavy, Riven, Vayne. So unless Lissandra is really fed or something, I'll go Death Dance third item. You don't typically play Nocturne Leashless, it's actually kind of rare. But even Leashless, he finishes pretty quick as you can see. We'll finish pre-330. With Leash, you'll finish more around 318. Without Leash... I guess three, kind of 326-ish. Full HP as well. Did use my potion though. Not bad. Dude, those guys are full HP. I can't fight them. <laughs> They're full HP, dude. There's no way. But I don't want to use my E on this because I don't know where the Ivern is. Hey, friend. I used W on myself for the extra attack speed, and I soaked it really well there. I have my lethal tempo maxed out. I'm red buff, red buffing these guys pretty hard. Couldn't quite kill her with my Q. I might have been able to flash auto her at some point there. Might have died to turret shot. I'm, I'm uh, satisfied with how that situation turned out, though. I think it was decent, because we got the full clear and the scuttle. I think we got not... And we got the uh, Ivern and Lissandra Flash. That's pretty solid for Nocturne early on. You can't expect to necessarily get a kill on him in your first gank. Since you have not the best gap closers. Can't necessarily solo Riven there. She has too much health. We'll continue our full clear. We don't need to reset. Nocturne farms healthy anyways because of his passive AoE and self-healing. Whenever you auto attack, it puts your passive on a lower cooldown as well. Especially against monsters and champions. You can perma-spam it. I think Nocturne's overlooked a lot by beginners and low mid elo because he's expensive. Things like Warwick and Xin Zhao, Amumu are much cheaper. Nocturne is, I think, one of the best junglers you can pick up iron through low diamond. Super straightforward playstyle. Full clear gank, full clear gank, full clear gank. Try to gank whenever your R is up. Stride breaker, Bork into death stance. Extremely straightforward. As long as your team isn't full ED. It's the only time you don't want to pick him since he has only has one source of it. Magic damage and it's on his E and you can't really build AP items on him since nothing on him scales off of AP. 
I guess technically it's passive and is edu, but it's not worth it, trust me. It'd be a really bad idea. We have way more CS than uh, Ivern because we didn't back and we didn't lose all of our HP. Goals to hit level 6 as soon as possible. Why it's a full clear. Almost level 6. Probably best to reset here. Because I'm far away from a gank here or here. I'm sitting on a lot of gold as well. My camps are spawning in top side, so... Pick up an Oracles and as much of Stride Break as we can. Go ahead and pick up this and this. Use Q. Trail speeds you up, gives you extra AD. Damages enemies. And when it hits enemy champions, it sticks to them so you can follow them. Nocturne's W attack speed's so good. Constant 30%. That's why all the Shredder builds are a higher win rate than his Assassin builds. Riot wants you to play him Assassin though because they want champion diversity. They don't want to admit that the Bruiser items are overloaded and have been for quite some time. Assassins are really not very good in League right now. Perhaps there's some good ones in the mid lane, but uh, bot lane assassins, not viable. Top lane assassins, not viable. Jungle assassins, mm, not that viable. It's not at the moment. Seven minute level six, it's a decent. We're going for the Riven, hit her with an E, Q. I kind of wasted my W there. He shielded himself, so I can't necessarily kill him. We will flash for it. His flash is on cooldown, and my lethal tempo is maxed out, which is an extra, extra 72% attack speed, so we win that easy. Hit her with a single auto if you're away, and we're chilling. I could block her off here. She thinks she's going somewhere. Oh, Riven's coming. I gotta leave, dude. I just realized Riven's gonna be here. Oh my goodness, I gotta go. Sandra's trying to bait me. Now that our R's on cooldown, we need to go back into full clear mode. What are we going to do? Walk around the map with no boots chasing people? That's bad. If we see a wave mid lane we could potentially grab. Lissandra isn't there, so that's going to kind of slow push into Syndra turret. Looks like they're lane swapping? That doesn't make any sense. This Jin doesn't like the Vayne matchup. Playing a fleet AD carry with an all-in support such as a Mumu or Leona I think is a huge mistake though. It might sound trouble, but Lethal Tempo Jin is somewhat viable. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen it work, but with fleet you don't have any damage on that keystone and then you have an all-in melee support. How are you ever going to get a kill? I'm not going to be able to collapse on that. I don't have any boots. Might as well keep up my full clear until something falls in my lap like this. Oh, he missed his snare. And he also panic flash when I was right there as well. Oh wow, this is actually worded. I didn't finish my full clear, but I am going to get scuttle and potentially dragon as well. You can block dragon autos with your W. It's the only monster in the game whose auto attacks are constantly abilities that will scrape banshees or spell shields. And whenever you block an ability with your W, it doubles the attack speed, so from 30% to 60%, and up and up and up the higher level your W is. You still end up maxing your E second, because your E per level gets so much extra damage. Hey, Vayne. If that Q hit, I would have R'd for it. Got my E on him. I went ahead and popped my W. My lethal tempo is... Pretty much maxed out here, I think. Oh, I need to get in bush to break vision. Couldn't get to it that efficiently, though. I don't think I was going to be able to survive there. They end up getting my shutdown. The only bright side of that situation is I do have enough gold for stride breaker, so I resetting is the right move. I'd prefer not to give them shutdown to reset. Luckily, it's an, only an extra 150, so they got 450 gold instead of the base 300. Shutdowns, of course, going up to an additional 700 gold for a total of 1,000 gold on kill. The lethal tempo, super scary. You have to pay attention to which champions have lethal tempo and conquer because when it's full stack, you have to give that extra respect. So the Riven Conk, Vayne lethal tempo, my lethal tempo. The lethal tempo and conquer are the scariest keystones in League. 
He's been fully utilized. The damage output is much higher than the rest. The other keystones are all a super tight window. They go on cooldown and then they don't do anything. Whether it's a phase rush or electrocute dark harvest. Also, I should have uh, the blue one once I'm level 9. Having the blue ward is your trinket. It's really good. R is up in 30. We'll try to set up a gank around that. Preferably bot side because this Vayne's playing ridiculously aggressive. I do also have a uh, stride breaker. He's about to walk into me. Got him with the Q. E stride break. Got my W on. She couldn't snare me and now she is dead. Delicious W timing. Getting that extra attack speed feels great. Ooh, Riven and Ivern. I'd prefer not to fight that actually. Oh, that's the wrong, wrong ping. I'm actually doing the bait ping there. It's not what I wanted. Auto attack stride break. Stride break's a great tool for pushing waves or taking your camps. Stride break. There's slow from stride breaker. The slow from your smite. Great ways to hold inside of your E to let your fear go off. Your Q speed up as well. Helps out a lot with making sure the fear lands. Because once they're... If anyone's feared, you fear them or anyone else fears them. You move 90% faster into them, which is the biggest speed up in the game. Uh, you won't find another speed up in League of Legends that's bigger than 90%. You won't. That is the biggest speed up in the game. It's nasty. That's what makes Nocturne viable. If he didn't have it, he wouldn't be able to stay on top of people. Great pick by the Syndra. Ivern is dead here. Yeah, tier 1 boots. Syndra walks him down with tier 2 boots, I think. I'll go ahead and take this. Wait for Lissandra to show herself mid. I have to wait for my E to come up anyways. Before I... Okay, there she is. If Syndra could bait this. I don't want to R why Lissandra has dash. Oh, this Lissandra has... Got freaking destroyed. I'm going to take Ivern's jungle here. Whoa. All right. It's going to slow us down. Words get vision for two to three seconds after you break them. I don't want to cross over immediately or they'll think that's exactly what I'm doing. I don't want to waste stride breaker because I think the Ivern's going to be in the area. That'd be a huge mistake to put that on cooldown. Okay, now I know where Riven is. I feel safer showing up. A pop W. Thought he was going to snare me. In fact, he did. I actually blocked it. Uh, I literally couldn't kill him. That's disgusting. That is just gross. I can't actually move. Oh, that's so gross, man. The amount of CC Ivern has is really gross we landed <laughs> all right he has tier two boots to be fair still it's nasty question is should we push for plated or for merc treads riven has stun saunders snare the saunders stun riven potential stun yeah it might be a merc tread type of game it's really gonna hurt my solos against the riven though kind of sucks now we push in for Bork. Why is it not? Why? What in the world? Why don't they have Bork as a recommended item? It's literally one of Nocturne's highest win rate items in the game. They don't have it recommended. They absolutely do not want you building Bruiser or Shredder on Nocturne. They want you to build Assassin like a good little boy. Build Assassin Nocturne. His lowest win rate builds. Good job, Riot. Huge IQ moves. Riot knows what's the highest win rate builds, guys. They have all of the data. <laughs> they know what's the best. They just don't want you to play it. On most champions, they do, but there's there's those that they don't. Stride breaker. I should have tried break sooner on the vein. She went so deep there. She almost worked, but I'm full stack lethal tempo, and this is where Iron gets defecated on. Stride break E. Ivern gets defecated on when someone's full stack lethal tempo or full stack conqueror and they're smacking him in the head. He is Ivern can't really take those keystones and get value. He cannot go toe-to-toe -to -toe 
punch for slap for slap on a podium like that. Use my W to get some extra attack speed. You should never use your W to block dragon to get extra attack speed if the enemies are messing with you. You only do that if you know the dragon's in the bag. You're trying to take it fast. Nasus is slowly catching up. His CS is kind of low, though. It's hard to survive an Ivern gank when you're on Nasus. He had to play really close to his turn. Oh, he just soloed her. Game's over. <laughs> Riven's way more fed than him, but he just soloed her. That, that's game. He's reached a critical mass. The nuclear fission cores are at maximum heat there. You can't cool them down now. It's going to blow. Main's pushing bot side. She is a full item, and I don't think they popped her shield bow either. I mean, I am two levels up, though. Are they actually backing, or are they just baiting? They vein. Here with the E stride, break W, auto attack Q. Down you go, buddy. I could have queued sooner for sure. Just wanted to make sure I was going to land it there. This her shield bow was on a cooldown there. Nothing else for me to do here. There's no camps, no objectives. Might as well reset. Pick up Borkin for the Porkin. Borkin for the Porkin lets you solo pretty much every bruiser in the game. Like Garen, you can go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, rip him in half. Derry, same thing. Nocturne is a highly underrated shredder. His only weakness is his mobility, really. His mobility is the main thing. It gives it counterplay. If he doesn't land his sphere, he misses out on a 90% bonus movement speed. If he misses his Q on an enemy champion, well, now he's missing out on his 35% increased movement speed trail plus the extra AD it gives. If he doesn't have R, you, you get the picture here. His mobility is outrageously reliant on skill shots. His Q and E are both skill shots. His R is his only non-skill shot mobility tool. Well, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a skill shot, but it's not a guaranteed land if they're able to get out of it because you didn't use stride break or slow them with smite. A lot of champions can tumble out or jump out or whatever. Continuing to full clear because there's nothing to really do. Could go for a herald right now. Probably our best option there. I'm not in range to R this guy, so I'm not going to. I'm going to lose vision right as I click it. I'm going to waste it. Doesn't seem to be warded. I'll play to kill Riven here. Riven's only one full item. I'm two full item. I could solo her easy. Just not seeing her right now. Oh, there it is. Hey, Riven. EW stride break. If, if people flash or dash even a millisecond before your R lands, your R will attach to it. So even if they flash over the wall, you go in like a heat sinking missile until you technically land your heat sinking missile. She made that mistake there because it's scary when Nocturne makes impact on you. It's really hard to get away from that. Typically you need a teammate to bail you out of those situations. I W'd you that. I full stack lethal tempo and stride break. Smite. Down she goes. Juicy. You can use your Q, W, E, and Stride Breaker in midair. Do keep that in mind. If they're a really slippery character and you're trying to make sure you land stuff, you well, with that being said, you should always use your E in midair on them. Because you want you need your fear to land as soon as possible to ensure they die. Cinder's playing really well, I'll give her the blue buff. Your E should always try to get down ASAP. Most champions can't survive. By the time your fear ends, they'll normally be dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. When did they make two pickaxes build into Death's Dance? That looks so ugly. That's so weird. It used to be, I think, Caulfield's Hammer and pickaxes plus chain vests that built into it. Dragon coming up. We play for Draxel. Nocturne is not a split pusher. He can't really solo a lot of traditional split pushers. Trying to solo Fiora, Jax, Trindamir, Nasus. Those aren't good for him. That's why you don't typically split on him. You play for dragons, you play for team fights, you play for picks. 
Nautilus out of position. Who wants to give me full lethal tempo here? Ooh, hey, Vane. EWQ. Down you go. Close fight. Want to go for Ivern here. He's kiting back, though. Why am I getting shredded so hard? Yeah, Ivern damage is ridiculous. <laughs> I almost died there. I'm not even squishy. I have an HP item plus a bunch of self-healing on passive and Bork. Almost dying to a Nautilus Ivern. Yikes. Still don't think I I still don't think Iron is good in the meta, but his, his base damages are kind of wonky. I'm gonna go for Dragon here since there's no one to contest. I'll use W to block an auto. You can also use your W to block the Baron special attacks or the Herald's Body Slam special attacks. Blocked it, and now we get five seconds of increased attack speed from W. So we had 120 percent. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. We had 60% instead of 30% because it's only level 1 right now. Even use my E on it for the damage. Looks like we're about to end. I'm okay with that. Nocturne is fine in the late game, but there's no reason to drag out a game if you can end it early. Riven's looking for the kill. I'm going on Ivern. Always go for the squishiest person first. Once you kill them, then you can help your teammates. Yeah, my teammates don't want to end here because the enemies are all spawning in. We'll go ahead and back off then. I have a lot of shutdown gold. I need to stay alive. Could kill Asandra, probably even underneath her if she doesn't have R there. Might as well back off, get Death's Dance. After Death's Dance, it's all situational. You have items like Spear of Shojin, you have Black Cleaver, Chem, Chem Punt Chain Sword. All depends on do you want. Uh, it just depends on what you need. So Chem Punk, if they have things like Mundo and Soraka to heal cut, Swain. Spear of Shojin, if you're just fed and trying to have a big flex. Black Cleaver if you need to shred. Tanks with lots of armor. Against their team, I'm thinking Silvermere Dawn, actually. Silvermere Dawn is one of the most slept on items that's secretly OP. Because it's a QSS, so you remove all effects, whether it's a suppression, stun, doesn't matter. It clears everything. Except for displacements. And, well, technically it can, but you have to have flash to get out of it. But anyway, so it removes everything except for displacements. Plus, it gives you 50% tenacity and slow resistance per 3 seconds, so it's kind of nuts. I don't want to R for this. I do want to R for that, though. I turned on my spell shield. Yeah, down goes Ivern. Should be GG's. This game drags out a bit. We can get the last dragon, no pun intended. Looks like Vayne didn't rage quit. And that, my friends, is GG's Nocturne. Super simple, super easy. Full clear gank, full clear gank. Get your ult gank. Play for drags. We'll take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt to me champions, we were the second highest in the game behind Syndra. Looking at damage taken, we were the second and the highest in the game behind Nasus. Looking at self-mitigated, we were actually the most self-mitigated in the game, which is surprising because we didn't build that much armor or magic resist. And then for runes, really high value. Nocturne Jungle, I'd say he's a top five pick at least for iron through low diamond. Super simple, super straightforward. You don't have to focus on too much in terms of mechanics, thought process. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.